Welcome to Rant365 people. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and the channel. So I've been gaming for about 35 years. I started out on the VIC-20, then I moved to the Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC, the Atari, Master System, Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 4. To give you guys a bit of a flavour of the type of games that I've played, so you know the type of gamer that I am. So things like car racing games, Outrun, so Need for Speed, Toka Touring, Gran Turismo, uh, sports games, so FIFA, Pro Evo, tennis games, and anything sort of track and field type. Totally love that stuff. Simulation wise, Theme Hospital and a game called Seven Sins. I don't think a lot of you guys will have played that game, but for those of you that have, it's an absolute gem of a game to play. Loved it. It's very adult and very sort of mature themes, but it's an absolute hoot to play. Um, if you do get a chance to find that game, definitely play it. Uh, action adventure wise, Bully, Far Cry, Golden Axe, all the games by Quantic Dreams and the Grand Theft Auto series as well. Now, I mean, I've, I've been sort of trying to get my own YouTube channel set up for years. Uh, the opportunity sort of came came by from me basically being able to work from home it's kind of sort of given me the time to do this which is fantastic and you know sort of being inspired by other youtubers um, especially sort of like john cadogan for example um, we've got the uh, cracked channel which features roger horton totally totally love his stuff it absolutely got me in hysterics every time i listen to his stuff it's just it's gold dust to me i love it scotty kilmer um, he is a guy that can rant and rant and rant, and I absolutely love the stuff he goes on about. Um, and to be honest, a lot of it is true. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like he's, he's doing it just to get the sort of viewers and stuff like that. Another channel I've come by is the Hungry Syrian Wanderer. And more recently, uh, my 24 hour adventure, which is, which is basically, um, a colleague at work. Um, that's his channel. Um, Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> so he's been helping me out lots. And you know, to, to sit next to someone who's a YouTuber at work, you know, and sort of feed off off that and think, wow, you know, look, you know, he's, he's doing what I'm doing. I've got a job. He's got a job. But he's, he's finding that time to do the things that he wants to do. And this this is what he wants to do. And, you know, and, and it's, just, it's kind of the same for me. You know, I sort of. There were things I wanted to do, and it was like the time wasn't there for me. And I say working from home, it's just it's helped me so much to do this. Um, all the guys I've mentioned, by the way, don't worry, I will put links in the description below so you can go and have a look at their channel and check out some of the stuff that they've been doing. Um, I'm not, not going to sort of go on and on about this, but so for me, I sort of. I haven't been doing my own YouTube stuff. I, you know, there's a lot of there's a learning curve, a sharp learning curve for me, because all of my games, um, all the videos that I'm going to be putting up, all have the same backdrop of the same game, should I say, and that's going to be GTA 5. I've had to learn things like sort of Rockstar Editor, YouTube Studio, you know, basic video editing, even like here recording this. You know, it's hours and hours have gone on testing different mics, testing different devices, testing different settings to try and sort of get my voice to sound anywhere near the way it should. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to. Um, and I mean, when, when you look at my channel of all the videos that I've done prior to this one, you know, I've got things like the A-Team Getaway, the Del Perro Shoreline. Um, I've done a showcase of some of the cars that I have in my GTA 5 garage. And you know, all, all these kind of videos are all on my channel now to look at. And that's me basically just practicing, you know, video editing and stuff, you know, being able to sort of put music um, into my videos and stuff. It's, it's little things that most of you guys will probably know what to do and how to do it and it'll be laughably easy for you to do. But for me, it's baby steps. Um, you know. Give you an example, you know, something like a, a minute and a half of footage on something like Rockstar Editor it took me about an hour to edit because I just didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what all the buttons did. And, you know, and it's you guys, you YouTubers out there that create videos, good, decent content. I was able to sort of go to these uh, videos and follow the steps and actually learn how to do 
you know, video editing using the Rockstar editor. And that's how all these videos have kind of sort of, you know, come, come about for me. So, you know, to put for me to put one video on YouTube, you're looking at six hours of editing for me and probably something like about maybe half an hour to an hour's worth of gameplay. It could be a lot longer than that. We're looking at maybe like three, four, five hours. If you're getting individual cars from my garage and driving them to a location to do a photo shoot, obviously that's going to take quite a bit of time. Um, let's say it's it's a learning curve. So, you know, I do appreciate when I look at my videos and when you look at my videos, it's not going to be, you know, polished. It's not going to be looking really nice and swanky like some of the other channels have, you know. And again, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fit this in uh, with a sort of an, nine to five job so you know i don't have hours and hours to sort of spend um doing this this is kind of i guess i don't want to sort of use the word hobby because it's, it's not a hobby it's something i want to put more time into but the time's just not there so it kind of is going to get treated like a hobby when i get time um i will try and put sort of videos up so let me tell you a little bit about the channel and tell you how that's split up so we've got two parts to that we've got the ranting bit of it now, for the ranting, we're looking at sort of something like five to 15 minute videos every sort of two weeks or so. Um, I mean, recently it's been sort of a, a video a week type thing, but to give me a bit of flexibility and leeway, every two weeks I'd like to do one video or one rant. Um, my opinions, my views, nothing sponsored. No one's telling me to sort of say, you know, say something um, in a certain way. This is This is me saying it. These are my views, my opinions, my two pennies worth um, into the pot. I've got no intention uh, of offending anyone. There is no malice behind what I am saying. Yeah. So also appreciate I am not going to be going um, down sort of certain topics like race and religion and politics. Um, that's not to say I'm going to be staying away from them, but ideally race, religion and politics are three areas that I'm going to try and be very critical um, about the things that I say and, you know, the videos that I'm going to put up. And if I do put any videos up, they're going to be few and far between. They really will. I mean, so don't put any sort of um, suggestions about those kind of videos um, anywhere because I'm, I'm, I will be very critical and more than likely I won't be doing those kind of videos. I'm going to be focusing on things like life observations, yeah, things that kind of affect you and affect me. Um, that's, again, saying that not everything that's going to be on the channel is going to be something that has or is affecting me. These are life observations, things that, you know, I've seen, things that my friends and my family members have sort of said. Um, and, you know, it's me basically just putting it on this channel, yeah. I'd also appreciate that, you know, I'm, like I said, I keep saying this thing about not having enough time. I don't have time to research a topic thoroughly. I'm not going to be spending, you know, 5, 10, 15 hours researching something over a week and then sort of give you a half hour vid, uh, video or a rant on it. Yeah, it's, The research I do is very much ad hoc. It's as and when I need to do it, I'll do it. But I'm not going to be researching these topics thoroughly. OK, so bear that in mind. If you guys do have any suggestions for any rants, obviously let me know in the comments and, you know, I'll definitely give you a shout out when I do the rant as well. So don't worry about sort of, you know, oh, I'm just going to I'm going to I'm doing all the work for him kind of thing. I will definitely give you a shout out if I decide to do one of your uh, suggested rants, as it were. For the gaming bit of it, currently I'm on the GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4. Hopefully I'm trying to move to GTA 6 on the PlayStation 5. That's when they both come out. Um, in terms of a gamer, I don't do any mods. I don't run any glitches. I'm not a tryhard and I don't care about KD ratios. Yeah, I'm not a PvP player. Okay, I've made over 200 million in two years of grinding out missions and heists in GTA 5. Okay, when you watch my uh, videos, if I do use any music for any reason anywhere, it's all the music that's coming straight from the YouTube audio library. It's all royalty free. I will, in any case, still mention in the description the video um, 
that this is the type of music that I am using. Okay, so that's like if if you do like that kind of uh, you know music, you can just say, okay, well this is what it's called, and this is the person that's kind of created it. Let me go on the YouTube's or library and find the song. It's a lot easier. So you know, I want to sort of help you guys as well. If if I use some music then you know I, i'll list it all down i'm not obliged to list it down because it's royalty free but i will still list it down because i think the people that made the music um, deserve some recognition in that respect and people that want to use the music should know what the music is so that they can go and find it themselves and use it on their videos now video i mean some of the videos that i've created currently on the channel like like the, i've said this before the 18 getaway video the, sh the del perro shoreline and me showcasing my uh, cars in my garage are kind of examples of the type of content um that you're going to be looking for okay i'm not going to be running around um killing everyone in a sort of online session most of the sessions if i do any gta stuff is all going to be solo sessions I'm not going to be looking to use any sort of public lobbies um, and grief people and things like that and then record it and put it on the video. Um, and also sort of appreciate that, you know, because I'm doing the gaming bit, the gaming bit has a lot of rockstar editing that I need to do to tweak the footage to get it the way I want it. So it's going to take a lot more time than the ranting. As a result of that, the ranting will take priority. So the gaming sort of clips that like the ones I just mentioned, you know, they will be sort of drip fed into the channel, but, you know, appreciate that's something like that's going to take me like maybe three days, four days to kind of sort of churn out. Whereas, you know, the ranting bit of it is like a day job. So, you know, there is a big difference in time scales there for me. Um, with regards to the content, obviously, if you guys like it, please hit that like button. OK, don't just watch the video, hit the like button. The more likes that I see on the channel, the more I can say, OK, people are liking what I'm doing. Obviously, if you don't like it, put a thumbs down. That's not a problem. Yeah. Um, obviously, subscribe as well and get some notifications set up. Very important, because if any of my videos, you know, when I re when I release a video, I want you guys to be able to get a little notification so that you can say, oh, look, a new video's come out. Go and watch it. Yeah. And with, with regards to content, um, you know, it's not it's not child friendly content. So don't have your children under 18 um, sitting next to you while you're sort of playing one of my videos. OK, bear that in mind. I will tell you that now. Um, but I'll also tell you that all of the comments that you put on are not restricted in any way apart from any YouTube fair comments policy or whatever they may have. Uh, but from my point of view, I'm not restricting you from putting any comments in. Um, if you do put any questions down, I will time permitting, try and answer them as best I can. I'm not looking to get into any arguments. So bear that in mind. If you're looking to put a comment up just to sort of, you know, rock the boat in some way, um, that's not something that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I just won't reply. It's as simple as that. Because I've got other things I need to be getting on with uh, with the time that I have. If for any reason the channel is not active, look, it's not going to happen. But yeah, but if if something happens and I decide that no, I don't want to pursue this and I want to shut the channel down effectively, as a, as in I don't want to put any more new videos up, then I'll tell you guys I'll make a video and I'll put it up there and I'll title it accordingly, and you know so you guys know that I'm not updating the channel anymore. OK, so that's basically an introduction to uh, me and the channel. Um, enjoy the content and thank you very much.